I'd like to give you an, op an operational update in relation to the ongoing incident here in Manchester. Uh, can I start by once again expressing my sincere condolences to the families of those that have lost their loved ones in this atrocity. We now have a team of specifically trained family liaison officers working with those families and supporting them. There has been much speculation in the media and on social media as to the names of some of the victims. And whilst I accept that some of this is an inevitability, I would ask that people do allow us uh, to work with the coroner and to work with those families and ensure that they are properly supported before we release the names of those that have sadly lost their lives. As you would expect, the police response across Greater Manchester has been significant today as we help people to continue to go about their daily business and lead their lives here in Greater Manchester. Part of this response has seen us arrest a 23-year-old man in connection with the attack and we've also carried out two warrants, one in Wally Range and one in Fallowfield. The one in Fallowfield did see us undertake a controlled explosion to gain entry and again I just wish to reassure those communities that was something that we were doing to gain safe access and it is nothing to be concerned about. We understand that feelings are very raw right now and that people are bound to be looking for answers. However, more than ever, it is vital that our diverse communities that make Greater Manchester such a strong place actually stand together and support each other, as we will be doing in the vigil at 6pm this evening. We will therefore not tolerate hate towards any parts of our community, and should communities be suffering uh, from hate incidents or crime, then I would please urge them to report it to us. Uh, this afternoon, as you saw, we were visited by the Home Secretary, Theresa May, and the Home Secretary, um, Amber Rudd, both of whom were given a briefing about our ongoing operations uh, and the um, investigation over today and the next few days. I can confirm that the man suspected of carrying out last night's atrocity is 22-year-old Salman Abidi. However, he has not yet been formally named by the coroner and I wouldn't wish to therefore comment any further about him at this stage. Our priority, along with the Police Counter-Terrorist Network and our security partners, is to continue to establish whether he was acting alone or working as part of a wider network. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Two <laughs>